I don't keep my trout when I'm fishing unless they have maybe ingested the hook too much and something happens and, right. they, and they perish. Right. I'm not crazy about farm-raised trout, but when I want trout, I can find some somewhere. Mm -hmm. The way that I like trout more than anything is... Smoked. The only way. And here's what happens when I make smoked trout. I'll get it and I'll eat it and I'll love it. And then it disappears because she takes it and makes something out of it. Turn into pate. Oh. So good. So good. So she makes a trout dip or a pate that's just absolutely wonderful. Tonight, we're going to smoke this trout. Now you can take the heads off or leave them. Now, this is my brine that I use for a lot of things. Mm -hmm. Normally on this recipe, I would use a little more sugar. I'm going to cut the sugar in half on this recipe for this brine to make it a little less caloric. So here we go. Per eight cups of water, I'm going to do about three quarters of a cup of kosher salt, a fourth cup of brown sugar, a fourth cup of white sugar, two tablespoons of garlic powder, two tablespoons of black pepper. Now this is important, I think, for fish is one tablespoon of lemon pepper. I'm going to take a half a cup of soy sauce, a little bit of hickory smoke seasoning, and about a tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Now you can heat this up and you can dissolve the salts and sugars in this, or you can just stir it well in, in the warmer water until it gets where it needs to be. All right, so now we're gonna take this concoction, this brine, and we're gonna pour in this pan and cover a little trout. Then we're gonna cover this, pop it in the fridge for six to eight hours. Obviously, the longer you leave that in, the more salt it's going to take in. So now, with fish, you want to get that temperature up to 160 degrees. Mm -hmm. So you want to cook it from 200 to 225 degrees. You could even do a little warmer than that if you wanted to. You need to let that get 160 degrees for at least 30 minutes. So you can put okay. a probe in there or whatever. When that happens, you're good to go. Then you can put these in the fridge. That's right. Years ago, when I was bear hunting in Canada, northern Ontario, I went into these gas stations to get a snack, an unhealthy snack, because I was on vacation. You You're know. starving, that's right. And you know what they had in there? What? What Smoked they trout. Really? Different kinds of trout. That was good. Oh, delicious. it was delicious. And every piece I tried was different. I thought, man, right. I, I got to get me some of that. So now you make so it. we're going to get me some of that. So let's pop that in the fridge. And... All right. Now again, if you're smoking a trout, you want to do it until that temperature gets up to 160 degrees for a solid 30 minutes. And usually that's a couple hours, right. usually two, two and a half, three hours. But just make sure you reach that 160 degree level for 30 minutes. Alrighty. You're good to go. You did good. Look at that. That's beautiful. It's pretty.